No parking. Beware of dog. Horn broken, watch for finger. What do all these phrases have in common? Their notices telling you what to watch out for. Basically, they're warnings. And this is kind of a warning too. It's the copyright symbol. You'll see it as part of a copyright notice on most creative works. Generally right next to it, it will say who exactly owns the work. So this video is about whether you need to slap one of these bad boys onto your own work to get copyright protection. The short answer is no, you don't. The copyright notice is completely optional and has no effect on your level of copyright protection. So the rest of this video will explain why you still see this symbol all the time now that it's completely optional. Hi, my name's Katrina and I'm from New Media Rights, a nonprofit that helps creative people understand legal issues. Years and years ago, if you forgot to put the copyright symbol on your creative work, that meant that you forfeited your copyright and your work went into the public domain. As much as we believe that people's work should go into the public domain quickly, this was a pretty nasty technicality. A lot of people thought that their work was protected and didn't know better. Now though, your work is protected by copyright as soon as you create it. You don't even have to register your work if you don't want to. As long as it meets the minimum requirements for protection, you got it. So first things first. Don't assume something is public domain just because it doesn't have a copyright notice. More likely than not, most of the creative work you see online is protected by copyright. Still, there are good reasons for why putting a copyright notice on your work is helpful, especially if you plan on selling your work commercially or if you're worried that someone might infringe on your work. Here are the two main advantages you get if you put a copyright notice on your work. Advantage 1. Everyone can see it's protected. Many people don't really understand how copyright works. They may think that they can copy your work completely if they don't see a notice somewhere. So the first obvious advantage is the notice lets people know that they can't copy your work completely. If they don't have a fair use reason for copying your work, then they know for sure it's off limits. Advantage number two, it will save you time and money if you have to file a lawsuit. If you put a notice on your work and you have to go to court, then by just having that little symbol on your work, the court can assume that the person who copied the work willfully disregarded the notice. Said differently, the person who copied your work can't claim she's an innocent infringer. This means that little symbol will make it more likely that you'll be able to recover money from the person and may make it a court case less time consuming and expensive for you. So since it's not too difficult to type a little C in a circle onto your work, if you're really interested in protecting your creative work in that way, then you should definitely put a notice on there. Assuming you're the type of person who doesn't want to have your creative work shared with others, it's best to be as careful as possible. I hope that explains why you keep seeing that C in a circle everywhere. Don't you think we deserve just a little something for enriching you with that negative knowledge? You can donate on our YouTube channel or at newmediarights.org to show your appreciation. See you in the next video.